So as we're looking over at this, there's that warning track. All right, in batting practice and when you're playing, you're gonna be playing right behind second base. I don't know if you guys can see where we're going. You're gonna be right behind second base for you center fielders to the right or to the left. Left field, you're gonna be up. Especially playing outfield, you have to be able to go back on the ball. You players know what I'm talking about, even you fast ones. We want to play on the warning track. The deeper we play, it's easier to run in than it is back. Yes, I understand that. But in this game, you have to play very shallow. And it's the ones that can turn, turn to your right, flip your head, do a head swing, catch it over on the other side. Those are simple things we're going to be able to teach as well. Low line drives, balls to your right, balls to your left, it is the second hardest ball to catch, the one coming straight in at. That's a hard ball to get to. Low line drives and balls over your head as an outfielder are the two beasts. And some of you guys are going to be playing first, third, outfield. You're lucky. You know, I'm a left-hander. I can only play uh, two positions on the field. That was uh, well, actually one position. That was outfield. Because if you play first base, you got to hit for power. You know, and if you pitch. But in high school, yeah, I could play three positions. Little League, I could play three positions. But we're talking about, you know, at the, at, at the high, high levels. So, um, you know, for you right-handers, you know, you've got a huge advantage. You know, you play anywhere on the field. And a lot of people are like, I don't like that. That's huge. That's, that's, that's one of the fastest ways to get to the big leagues. You know, and we talk about college because that's our dream. Yeah, but my son's 11. Yeah, that's right. That's when we start dreaming. My son's 12 or 10. Yeah, we're dreaming because we can do it. You know what I mean? We can do it. We, can, we need to instill in our kids that we, if, if somebody else can do it, we can do it. You know, I did it. I'm the all-time stolen base record at a school that's like ranked number three in the nation. I mean, I got drafted out of there. I'm a, I'm a nobody compared to some of these kids. I see kids that got so much more talent. It's just like, now I get to explain to them and teach to them like, yo, man, you can do this. Like, pff, you can get drafted. You can make tons of money. You can do this. Like, pff, there's been a lot of good players I worked with, like Mason Denenberg from uh, the Central Florida Gators. He's with the Nationals now. Look him up. Denenberg, Mason, heck of a player. Elijah Cabell, you know, he's at Florida State. Andrew Roberts coming up. Man, these guys are killers when it comes to baseball. Mountcastle, Ryan Mountcastle. I mean, heck, you know, they have a chance to work with, you know, Luke Scott. You know, Felipe Lopez came in for a visit. Like, man, these big league guys, man, like, you can do it. There's no difference between them and you. It's right here is where it's at. You got to get strong mentally and you got you to say, commit to it. I'm going to, it's not going to be a hard work. It's just going to be work you do every day. And then you get paid and you get rewarded for the work. I'm Chaz Lytle. Have a great one. 407-454-1770 or chaz.lytle at yahoo.com. You can hook up with me for lessons or whatnot. This is for your son that's 14, 18, 19, 20, or already early sign. Let's get it, guys. Chaz Lytle.